Hi, this is David Bowman with Zeus of Trout Outfitters, and this is a tying instructional video on Bowman's Psycho Sub V. Uh, this is a Subvaria nymph, so Hendrickson's, and the fly starts with a rainbow bead on it. You can see it's got the green, yellow, pink, purple, all the different colors on there. I'll go ahead and tie in with some 6 0 rusty brown thread. All right, and the size of that hook is a 12. You could go 14s. All right, and so we'll start with some ginger dyed pheasant tail, and uh, we'll use that to make the tail. get rid of the excess here. Okay, then I'll take some uh, brassy size wire and the color of that is going to be wine. And just tie that in for some ribbing. Okay. I'll take some point zero one five lead and just put a quick little twist of that on here behind the bead and cinch that all down real nice Okay. come to the back of the fly here take some rusty color possum dubbing which is some of my favorite. This is uh, awesome possum dubbing here. So I just go ahead and dub a little bit of that on. See where that puts us here. Okay, and then at about, I don't know, maybe about halfway towards the bead, I'll throw a little bit of this uh, ice dubbing in. It's in uh, UV Pearl. All right, that's a little bit of Orvis dubbing there. And the reason I do that is because these Hendrickson's nymphs have a, a white bar about, uh, you know, three quarters of the way up their, up their bodies. Alright, so something like that. Tie back to where I want my rusty dubbing to start back up again. So something like that there, throw that in. Alright, and you'll see that that makes a nice little white section. Then I'll take this wire. Alright, and I'll just, and that, that's nice there, it makes this kind of like a shiny ribbing in there and I'll try to avoid crossing it over the top of the white dubbing just because that's something that I don't want it to do. All right. Go ahead and snip that off. All right, I'm going to dub a little bit up against the bead so I don't have that gap between the end of the last bit of dubbing and the bead quick. All right. Then I'm going to take regular color pheasant tail. I'm going to make a wing case out of that. And I'll also use that for legs and you'll see how that works out here in a minute. It's a nice little technique. I use it on a lot of my nymphs. <coughs> so you just want to get these pheasant tail fibers pretty even with each other All right, at the tips so something like that and then what I'll do is I'll tie them in and uh, try to estimate about how long the legs are going to be and you'll see what I mean in a minute 
So we'll get that tied in the top like that. Take it back to where I'd like the wing case to be. Something like that looks pretty good. Get rid of the extra. And I'll go ahead and dub in the last little bit of dubbing here. Alright. Make that a little chunky towards the front. And then what I'll do is I'll pull the pheasant fibers that I left out the back towards the front. And you'll see that that makes a little wing case at the top there. Put two wraps on. Then I'll spread those fibers out to either side. Okay, you see how they're starting to split? Fold them back. Okay, pull them back. And then put a few wraps over the top of them. And what you'll notice is that those pheasant fibers now become legs that stick out to the side of the fly. Alright, so that pretty well finishes up the fly. I'll go ahead and do a whip finish here at the, the head. Alright. Snip the thread. And that's pretty much it. That's Bowman Psycho Sub V. It's a really productive nymph in the springtime when the Hendrickson's are coming off. That white bar on the back really stands out. And uh, the trout tend to like these rainbow beads, and I've gained a, a liking for them as well. I've used, I use them on a lot more flies now than I did in the past. So. Good luck with it, and uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy.